The small village of Vik, located about 180 kilometers southeast of the capital Reykjavik, is Iceland's southernmost village and also Iceland's wettest coastal town, receiving over 2200 millimeters of rain every single year. Luckily today isn't one of those days. Driving along the ring road towards Vik affords you with views of Iceland's breathtaking volcanic landscapes, the large ice cap Myrdalsjökull sitting atop the massive volcano Katla lie just outside on the outskirts of the village, a subtle reminder of Mother Nature's power. The full name of the village is Vik i Myrdal, but everyone just shortens it to Vik for simplicity's sake. What's up everybody, I'm back, this time in the tiny town of Vik. This is my local town, it's usually where I go to uh, get my groceries and everything else, like this, today. I'm gonna run a couple errands and also show you guys what else there is to see and do around here. While only a little over 300 people live in the village and another 450 live in the surrounding farmlands, Vik is still quite a large settlement owing to its location on Iceland's famous ring road. There are a number of museums and cultural exhibits as well as restaurants and cafes spread throughout the side streets of the village. There are plenty of options for accommodation with hostels, hotels and guest houses scattered around the village and I'll be putting the links to all of these places featured in the video in the description below. First stop for me was lunch at my favourite restaurant, Smithian. These guys brew some amazing beer here and you can even take tours of the brewery if you book ahead. After filling my stomach with a delightful mango passion fruit sour beer and a blue cheeseburger, I made my way down to the local black sand beach called Vikur Fjara. At the entrance to the beach, there is a stone monument to the German fishermen who lost their lives when their ship sunk just off the shore here. The sister beach, Reynis Fjara, seen in one of our earlier videos, lies on the other side of the huge mountain here, Reynis Fjall. This beach is likely not as famous as the neighboring Reynis Fjara, due to the distinct lack of basalt columns. Having said that though, it's still a beautiful stretch of coastline to walk, but only when the ocean is calm. This is another beach with extremely cold water and very dangerous rip currents that have claimed many lives in the past. Back in the centre of the village you'll find the iconic church at the top of the hill and just behind that there is a hidden graveyard overlooking the town. Not a bad spot to be buried honestly, the views up here are incredible and it's also the safest place to be in case of an eruption of Katla. The residents of Vik regularly take part in drills in preparation for the next volcanic eruption and they meet up here on the hill with the church as it's the safest spot to wait for rescue in the case of a massive glacial outburst flood from Myrdalsjökull. Thank you. 
just down the road from the church is Sudervik, a restaurant which makes the best pizza in town. We also have School Beans, another place here that gets Vivid Iceland's seal of approval. We featured this place in our Icelandic coffee video. Don't forget to take a selfie with the boss, Jeffrey. He's Vic's famous three-legged furry gentleman. Check him out on Instagram. There is a large shopping complex just off the ring road where you'll find a supermarket, cafe, restaurant and souvenir shop all in one location. Next to that there is a gas station with a delicious Asian restaurant and behind this there is another pub called Stranden. There's also an old boat, cabin slash playground thing for kids with Iceland's best warning sign. Okay, so that brings me to the end of my time here in Vik. Great little place to stop by, have a pit stop on your drive through here on the south coast. And I think I'm going to be coming back again in the summertime just to check out some of the hikes over on uh, Reynesfjall and also Hata up the back there behind the church. So make sure you keep your eyes out for those episodes and uh, yeah, leave us a comment below. Tell us what you liked most about uh, Vik here. Until then, we'll see you in the next episode. Bye for now.